to prepare a quick meal from Fresh Market and all the other little Publix where you go pick up everything and have it laid out like I have for you this afternoon, that goes a long way. And the same thing with your faculty members. Remember, they can either make you or what? Right. And you have to decide the climate that you want in your building. So you do something like this at least once a month, and then you trade off with grade levels. But the very first of the year and the last of the year, it should be on you. It should be on you. Whether you get someone to underwrite it or you just pay the cost yourself. A couple hundred bucks is worth eight months of happiness. It's like a marriage. Right? Right. Or something like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> what you want, so that is why I have treats for you this afternoon. First thing you know I always do, I always ask you, what have you done for yourself? So, who's ready? Tanya, I see you are back there sort of shaking in your seat, so that means you have some hot news you want to share. Yeah, well, <laughs> the only thing I did for myself was enjoy a Saturday afternoon by myself, no kids, no one in the house but myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's taken how many class times for her to finally? Well, this is the fifth week, right? Yeah. After five weeks. Yay, you. <laughs> and did you feel great when they came back home? I did, I did. Very good for you. People smiling. <laughs> Very good for you. Very good. Who else? Yes. I finished 10 days res or residency. And so treated myself to a completely frivolous outfit. Shoes, Ooh, bed, accessories. We love that. that. <laughs> all right, all right. And congratulations for getting those 10 days done. Good. Okay, who else? Why are you all looking down? You know I'm going to call on you. So you're going to take. I always go shopping, so. Huh? Okay, you went shopping, but what did you buy this week different than what you bought the last week? Um, they're rich. No, they're not rich. <laughs> Is red your favorite color? It's not. It's from another class. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. Red shoes. Okay. 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 Red lips back there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, I, didn't, I didn't buy anything different than I normally buy. I bought shoes, but a different kind. Wait, Lord? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> She's consistent. She's consistent. Another characteristic of a good instructional leader is what? Consistency. Consistency. Consistency, so good for you. Man? I'm, I'm going you were at the beach last week, so what did you do, Cornell, this week? I go out and I didn't do anything. I, didn't do I learned how to make an old fashioned coconut cream pie this week. Ooh! Yeah. That was pretty wow. Ooh, was it good? Yeah, the second one was. <laughs>
emotion when something is hurt. It's like a toothache. Well, it was like all the wearing them for that whole week. I mean, I wear clothes, clothes shoes, but it was just, you know, too. It, it yeah. Was, oh wow. Colleagues, to thine own self be true. <laughs> you have to do what works for you. You have to do what works for you. If it doesn't work for me, then Sheila is not going to do it. That's like bad clothes. Just because it's a bad, does that mean we all need to wear it? No. Absolutely not. What do I look like coming in here to teach you with a hoochie dress on all your skirt? <laughs> or a pair of hot pants? No. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
you're going to do a morning, you better make it six or seven. And you never call the clergy in for a meeting on Monday morning. Why? Stay day off. Stay day off. Really? Oh, that's really. That's, mm -hmm. ra that's true. Mm -hmm. Now, that one you take that. <laughs> that one you should write down. That one you write down. I can tell you that we, have, we, follow, we found out in Ohio, you never do it that day. They told us not to plan on that day. Now, if they're telling you that and you want them to come, are you still going to go ahead and have it? So you find out a lot of things, a lot of things, and that's one place where you can go. And they also know that you're supporting the community around them. So very good. Who else wants to share? Yes. Okay, I didn't do anything for myself. I have kids every day, but something happened yesterday that made up for me time. We went into McDonald's after class last night, and I ran into a former student. He's going to be a senior this year, and I had him in sixth grade. And he came up to me and asked me, did we still do a particular activity that we had done way back when he was in the sixth grade? Wow. I mean, it was so good that he actually oh, remembered doing something. Yay! Something. And it was probably one of those teachable times when it probably did not take a lot of effort, but it was engaging them. I was talking about that earlier with colleagues. What do you tend to remember? Do you remember a lecture? No, because you look at me while I'm up here talking. <laughs> and you're sitting back there saying to yourself, okay, now how many more minutes do we have to go? You can cut it any time. How many more minutes do I have to go before Dr. Austin shuts her mouth? You are not, but when I engage you in the conversation with me, what happens? You become a part of it and you remember it. Become a part of it. The fact that I'm moving around this room. You don't know where I'll end up next. Right. Are you going to take out your cell phone and start texting somebody? <laughs> hmm? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> because you know I will come over to where you're standing. I won't say a word. I'll just stand there and look at you. <laughs> I did have one student one semester. His uh, phone kept going off. So I kept calling him. I said, call her and tell her that I said, get out of class at 7.30. Don't call you again. <laughs> Called he said, Dr. Austin, I called and told him exactly what you said. Don't call me anymore because I'm in class. Okay, so tonight we're going to go through chapter three, and chapter three, very quickly, we're going to go through it because I am interested in seeing your presentations. How many of you are excited about presenting them? Are you? 